The Iran deal is featuring high on the agenda at the United Nations this week, but efforts to prevent Iran from fulfilling its nuclear ambitions go beyond the speeches and discussions at the General Assembly. This gathering here in New York, the second annual Iran summit organized by United Against Nuclear Iran, focuses not only on the nuclear threat, but also on the role Iran plays in the region. I think if you want to affect Iran's behavior even on the nuclear issue, you want to demonstrate that we're going to stop what they're doing in the region and send the signal that there's a price for what they do. And that price might be the United States withdrawing from the nuclear deal. As President Trump hinted today at the United Nations, he may not recertify the agreement when it comes up for a mid-October deadline. That deal is an embarrassment to the United States, and I don't think you've heard the last of it. Although nuclear inspectors recently found no evidence Iran is in violation of the agreement, some are convinced that breaking the spirit of the deal, in the president's own words, is a good enough reason for withdrawal. I think there's a lot of grounds for uh, pulling back from this agreement, and uh, the challenge to us will be to convince our allies in Europe, particularly, who were part of the, the agreement, that what we're doing is justified by the bad behavior of Iran. Others suggest that if the United States pulls out of the nuclear deal, Washington eventually might find itself more isolated than Tehran. Well, I think if we withdraw from the deal, we'll have no support uh, from the Europeans. Uh, we certainly won't have any support from the Russians and the Chinese. And I think the Iranians will try to present themselves as the victim. Uh, and, and they'll then be in a position where what they do seems justified. So I, I would like us to make Iran's bad behavior the issue. I don't want to make our own behavior the issue. To get out of the nuclear agreement, I, I don't see the plus there. What, what are we getting out of it? We don't want a nuclear Iran and a nuclear North Korea.